Hello friends, so in this video tutorial we will learn about switch function in Power BI Tax. So to do the switch function in Power BI Tax, we have a table here and in table we have rows, ID, order date, ship date, ship mode, custom, customer name, segment and all this information are there and at last we will find our profit and this is our quantity sales. Suppose like if you will say, like if we have a quantity sales, like if we will put some uh, ascending or descending order here like if you have a quantity sales of 14 and then if uh, then we will say it's a very good sales is if it's 10 then we will say it's okay sales so what we can make we can use a switch function which can be used like your multiple uh, nested if like so you can use it like for multiple queries and it will work like your nested if in your excel or any other platform so what we will do if we click over this and create a new column here and after creating a new column we will give it a name which we can say is equal to best order best order sales and then we will put equal to then i will put switch function after putting switch i will take my table which is our order table and from there i will take our order uh, quantity because we want to check the quantity and we will say if our quantity is more than 14 is equal to 14 like i will say 14 then i will say best sales and if it is 13 I will say second best and if it's 12 I will say third best and we just have to find out our first second and third best then I will close it so best order sales and I will just click enter over this so we have a best order sales new here and we will find our best sales there first one then it's our second best and then it's our third one and others it will leave blank so this way we can give uh, more measures in our switch functions so it will continue check them next is like if you want to give it in multiple uh, sheets so like if you want to use them in multiple columns like we have a sales there we have a quantity there and according to that we want and even if the profit is there so what uh, what measure we can do so for that like we will create a new column there and I will put this we will take condition I will just jot down this okay it's just a bit in, uh, a bit uh, it's changing no problem in that so we have a sales we have a quantity 14 quantity sales we have different sales if I will say if I have sales more than 10,000 whatever our best sale if we have quantity 14 we have best sale if we have profit of more than like like we have a different if you will just sort them to ascending order so it will go as the lowest scene and if we will convert them to descending order it will give us the best sales. So best sales is about 8000, 6000 something and a 14, 15 is the best order. So we will make something according to that some list and I, again I will put this in descending order. Here we have 20,000 sales is the best. So let's check it out and make some uh, a new column new measure new column here so we will make a measure a column here and after creating a column I will give it a name best sales equal to then I will put switch function and here I will write two expression so whatever expression we will give if it's true and then I will get order sales I have to just find out order sales here and say if it's greater than 20,000 then I will say best sales 
then I will take another order uh, quantity if it's greater than 10 I will say best orders and next is our uh, comma I will say best profit so profit I will say if our profit is more than 5000 we will say best profit so it will work on multiple sheets so just if you will press enter and want to see the result there so we have a best sales best profit best and where we have haven't find any any uh, equivalent from this sheet which is like greater than 20,000 or either greater than 10 or greater than 5,000 profit it will leave it blank so wherever we have best order best sale best so it will give us the retail so this is the benefit of using the switch function in power bi tax thank you very much